And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the next fight of the evening. Introducing first in the blue corner, he is coming from Kyrgyzstan. Make some noise for Talgot Shatmatov! And in this particular matchup, this welterweight contest, the championship is not on the line. However, Talgot Shatmatov of Kyrgyzstan will be facing the current and reigning welterweight champion, Luka Poklit of Moldova. Shatmatov here, really, when you think about it, has absolutely nothing to lose and absolutely everything to gain. I mean, if he can defeat Pokley here, you would think that there would be an immediate rematch between these two, perhaps with the championship on the line. But Shatmatov is, is unranked here in, uh, in Eagles. And Pokley is the champion. Now, Pokley, because he's the champion, does not necessarily have to defend the belt uh, at every event. It's his prerogative whether he wants to fight or not. And Pokley wants to fight. He just fought at the last event uh, back in February, and he's already ready to go here again, but there has not been a number one contender decided yet. And so they're just gonna go ahead and, and match him up against somebody. And that somebody happens to be Talgot Shatmatov of, Ky of Kyrgyzstan. So what would happen here if Shatmatov wins? Would he, would he get a rematch for the championship or would he just automatically shoot up the rankings? Very interesting. Uh, but before we can think too hard about that question, uh, Shatmatov's got to prove that he is uh, deserving and he's got to go in that cage and get his hand raised. And now presenting his opponent into the red corner. He's coming from Kishino on the valley. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Luca Buckley. And here he comes, the current welterweight champion here in Eagles Fighting Championship, Luka Pokli of Moldova, the 28-year-old from here in Kishino. Has a record of three and one, and that one loss did not happen here in EFC. He is currently undefeated in Eagles. As I mentioned, the belt will not be on the line, uh, but this is a little bit of a dangerous situation, I think, for Luka Pokli, because as I said, he he's kind of uh, has his back up against the cage here. He has to win this matchup. He he's not gonna lose the belt if he loses, uh, but, but it, it will be uh, sort of an embarrassment if he does lose this matchup as the champion. He did win the title last November at Eagles 7 with a win over uh, Sergio Barbarossa. It was a controversial decision. Uh, some people thought that Pokley won it. Other people thought uh, that Barbarossa won it. But life moves on. For Pokley, he's now the champ. And he's got his next big task in front of him here tonight in Talgat Shamato of Kyrgyzstan. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the red corner, 
Asia 28, yeah. weighing 77.1 kilograms, height 1.78 meters, having a personal record of three wins, one losses, specialized in mixed martial arts, he is fighting for MMA Academy, make some noise, he's coming from Kishinaw, Moldova to Luka This is a welterweight bout on the 77 kilogram, five minute three round. Referee in the ring, Marius Domasat. So the title Ready? not on the line here. We'll have three Let's rounds go. of three minutes. Round one, fight. Touch your gloves once again, and we are underway. Both men wearing black, Pokli, local boy from Moldova in the trunks, and Shamatov of Kyrgyzstan in the tights. Both guys very evenly matched. Three years age difference between them, and three years, excuse me, three centimeters height difference between them as well. Big swing and a miss with the left hand there from Shatmatov. Crack kick that time. Shatmatov connected with those hands, trying to pick up Pokleet now, who slips the left leg inside to prevent that. But here come the right hand, really trying to crank that neck. Wow, he just spiked him on the top of his head that time. Oh, is he really sinking that in? And this one is history. from Shatmatov. Crack kick that time. Shatmatov connected with those hands, trying to pick up Pokleet now, who slips the left leg inside to prevent that. But here come the right hand, really trying to crank that neck. Wow, he just spiked him on the top of his head that time. Oh, is he really sinking that in? And this one is history. 